हेलो एवरी वन टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम मोर इंटरवल्स रिलेटेड टू फोर इयर सीरीज सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द इंटरवल फ्रॉम माइनस पाई टू पाई ऑल द कंडीशंस द बर्नोलीस रूल एंड ऑल ऑफ द फोर इयर कोफिशेंट्स फॉर थ्री केसेस नीदर इवन नॉर ऑल इवन ऑल नाउ today we will discuss uh, all the intervals like all the formulas all the fourier coefficient formulas for all the intervals uh, the intervals we are studying today is 0 to 2 pi minus l to l and 0 to 2 l so i am not going to drag in up but because the formulas are uh, mostly the same for all so now let's start so this is the interval from 0 to 2 pi the same thing we have three cases neither even nor or even function or function for each case there are uh, three set of formulas for all the fourier coefficients so for in case of uh, interval 0 to 2 pi the in neither even nor or the formulas goes like this a not equal to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx in the case of minus pi to pi it was 1 by pi interval from minus pi to pi so in this case it is it is from 0 to 2 pi since the interval is from 0 to 2 pi and the same thing repeats as well for an only the limits change for bn also the rest uh, these terms remain the same and even the fourier series remains the same uh, same case for even function uh, bn equal to 0 a not uh, equal to 2 by pi uh, there's no change in the even and odd functions you can see that 2 by pi equal to 0 to pi f of x dx an 2 by pi from 0 to pi f of x cos n x d cos n x dx and uh, bn value is 0 so this is the fourier series and the same case it goes for odd function as well see a not equal to 0 and an equal to 0 bn is from 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x sin n x dx so there is no change in the formulas for even or even even function and odd function only there are changes in neither even nor odd that is the limits have been changed uh, in the case of minus pi to pi it was minus pi to pi now it is 0 to 2 pi but here the one condition changes that is in case of minus pi to pi the first step what we were doing is we are we were replacing the value of x by minus x right so in this case the there is a slight change that is we were we are not replacing the value of uh, x by minus x instead of that we are doing replacing the value of x by 2 pi minus x and re i repeat again we are re uh, replacing the value of x by 2 pi minus x and the condition remains the same if f of 2 pi minus x is equal to f of x then it is even if f of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus f of x then it is odd so this is all about the interval from 0 to 2 pi uh, wait there is a one more point to discuss i'll tell you that yeah so if uh, same thing if f of x is a discontinuous function in this case also there are uh, two values for f of x that is phi of x and xi of x but here the limits change in from minus pi to pi it was minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi here it is 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi that's only the change and rest all the things remains the same and here also there is a slight change like uh, we were replacing phi of minus x right so in this condition uh, we have we have to when the f of x is even we, it should the condition should be f phi of 2 pi minus x should be equal to xi of x and phi of 2 pi minus x should be equal to minus xi of x when f of x is odd that's only the change rest all all the things uh, remains the same so here only there is a slight change in the intervals from 0 to 2 pi so that's why i was st stressed a lot for um, from uh, uh, like i've uh, gone deeply in uh, the interval minus pi to pi because uh, you need to understand uh, that thing uh, if you don't understand that the the rest all the topics are uh, like very tough so you need to understand that that's a basic so yeah that's all we'll get to the next interval yeah 
so this is another kind of interval that is from minus l to l here basically uh, the intervals are constants l means it's a constant for example uh, right i'll write an example here in question uh, till now the intervals we were discussing that minus pi to pi is 0 to 2 pi now what is minus l to l it's basically uh, there the both minus l and l are numbers like a single number for example let's consider l uh, l equal to 1 if l is equal to 1 the intervals would be from minus 1 to 1 that's it in the question they will be giving uh, different numbers like from minus 1 to 1 minus 2 to 2 minus 3 to 3 like that so l are basically constants uh, basically numbers from 1 to infinity they can give any numbers so that's all that's all that's only the change and uh, same thing for follows neither even nor odd even or the formulas uh, there are slight changes in the formulas for fourier coefficient c for a naught in uh, from minus pi to pi uh, it was from 1 by pi right there's no, uh, there's no change here also just a single change that is we need to replace the value of pi by l that's it rest all the things remains the same in case of minus l to l everything remains the same see 1 by pi uh, in case of uh, neither even nor not here it is 1 by l in case of from minus pi to pi it was 1 by pi and there's even a small change as well here see you can see here in case of minus pi to pi it was f of x cos nx here there is a slight change that is we need to remember that f of x cos n pi x by l dx and this n pi x by l uh, di uh, the division sign right the uh, by sign this is only for this term not for the whole term please be, uh, do remember this if we do it for the whole term then we will by substituting the values we will get the wrong answer and uh, you might get stuck in the problem so please remember this uh, whenever you, uh, if you are uh, taking a note then please put a bracket while uh, writing these formulas that's all oh, that's all the change f of x dx this remains the same in case of f of x uh, in case of minus pi to pi it was f of x cos nx right here replace this by this that's it uh, there are no other changes uh, the uh, rest all the things remains the same i'm not going to explain it once again you can uh, make a note i'll just scroll like this rest all the things remains the same it's a uh, a copy of you can say that it's a copy of from minus pi to pi that's it uh, only the uh, intervals change that is from minus pi to pi it, it becomes minus l to l where l are constants see even the condition remains the same we have to replace the value of x by minus x uh, even odd yeah so this uh, this is all about from uh, minus l to l even in case of discontinuous function uh, the conditions all remains the same even only the limits change from uh, minus l to 0 and from 0 to l same thing both uh, phi of x and y of x even the condition is the same so this is all about minus l to l uh, now we will discuss from 0 to 2 l yeah this is from 0 to 2 l yeah this is again similar to 0 to 2 pi again the uh, same thing here it was from 0 to 2 pi in case of uh, interval 0 to 2 pi here it is 0 to 2 l and 1 by L. Rest all things remains the same. Only the change is from cos nx. Uh, now it is cos n pi x by L as I told. And this term we need to put in a bracket because uh, you won't get confused while doing the problems. And rest all the things remains the same. Even the Fourier series, everything remains the same. See for even function bn equal to 0. Uh, only the value of pi we replace it by L. See the rest all things remain the same even in case for odd function it remains the same but the condition is for 0 to 2 pi it was f of 2 pi minus x right in this case it is f of 2l minus x that's it you have to replace the value of x by 2l minus x so that 
we get the respective even and odd functions yeah okay so till now we have discussed uh, three intervals in today's video and uh, one interval in the our previous sessions uh, those four intervals are minus pi to pi 0 to 2 pi minus l to l 0 to 2 so th those are all the uh, intervals for a full range Fourier series right so now we are going to discuss about half range Fourier series so what do you mean by half range see the topic only suggests the word half half means the intervals gets split okay. till now we have we were discussing full intervals from minus pi to pi 0 to 2 pi minus l to l 0 to 2 l in case of half range the intervals gets divided the intervals get divided for example uh, we can take uh, uh, two intervals here one is from 0 to pi uh, one is from uh, 0 to 2 pi and one is from 0 to 2 l now what happens if we uh, divide the interval in case of 0 to 2 pi it becomes 0 to pi right it becomes 0 to pi and same thing goes for 0 to 2 l if we divide the intervals it becomes from 0 to l that's it that's only the co concept here the intervals get divided and there are two cases basically one is for 0 to pi intervals and one is for 0 to l intervals and there are again the set of formulas for Fourier coefficients but this half range Fourier series right it gets divided into two types again one is for sine half range Fourier series and another one is for cosine half range Fourier series so first we'll uh, discuss about the cosine half range Fourier series so first I'm going to explain you all then uh, I'll give you the set of formulas so first let's see uh, what is cosine half range Fourier series the word suggests the word uh, the sentence itself suggests the word cosine what do you mean by cosine cos of any angle uh, it may be positive or negative the result is always cos it won't be negative right for example cos of 90 is cos cos of minus 90 is also cos so we can say that uh, cos uh, see half range Fourier series is an even function this cos half range Fourier series corresponding to an even function Where, uh, whereas in case of uh, sin half range Fourier series this is the second type of half range Fourier series sin half range Fourier series here also uh, sin uh, if any uh, any sin positive angle for example sin 90 is equal to the positive angle of sin that is sin but it's not the same in case for negative so if, example if we take the angle sin of minus 90 the answer we get is minus sin 90 right so this corresponds to an odd function so we can say that sin half range Fourier series is an odd function so th that's all there are two uh, two kinds of Fourier series half range Fourier series one is cosine and one is sine and for cosine there are two cases as I said the two intervals that are 0 to L and 0 to pi same thing goes for sine there are two in uh, two cases two intervals 0 to L and 0 to pi and there are a set of uh, Fourier coefficient formulas along with that there are Fourier series yeah that's all so uh, now I'll write the formulas and display it to you all yeah see these are the two kinds of series cosine and sine and these are the set of formulas as I said there are two cases one is one interval is from 0 to L another interval is from 0 to pi and uh, and in my explanation I've told that cosine uh, is a, a cosine corresponds to an E1 function so in even function we know that bn equal to 0 we have the uh, formulas for a0 and an that is a0 equal to 2 by l interval 0 to l f of x dx an equal to 2 by l interval 0 to x f of x cos n pi x by l dx and this is the required Fourier series same similarly in case of uh, in uh, 0 to pi interval again bn equal to 0 we have the values for a0 and an uh, the l value is replaced by pi 
test all the things remains the same this is the fourier series and uh, this is for sine and i said that sine corresponds to an odd function here also we have two cases that is one is from 0 to l and another is from 0 to pi uh, whenever it's an odd function we know that a not equal to 0 and a n equal to 0 we only have the formula for b n uh, there are two formulas here as well here for b n one is 2 by l 0 to l f of x sine n pi x uh, by l dx and this is the Fourier series and in case 2 from 0 to pi again we have the value for bn and this is the Fourier series yeah so yeah we have uh, discussed all the concepts all the formulas all the intervals and uh, all the half range intervals and all the types of half range Fourier series intervals as well we have discussed everything now we have uh, in the upcoming sessions we will do uh, two problems each uh, related to all the intervals uh, to be clear about the concept uh, one problem is uh, when uh, in a single f of x value and uh, another problem is for two f of x values in each intervals uh, in two to three sessions we will try to complete these all problems and we'll get to the next concept uh, related to fourier series and then we'll start with the practical analysis that is the second chapter. So in the next session we will start with the problems. Thank you.